Gates friend in school together in high school in campus. We play together volleyball, and these these are days that I've been waiting for a long time. And we thank God for this far. I really love this girl because she's kind and she is always straightforward. And I pray that the husband that is going to marry her will take good care of her. And we thank God for this day. That's all. John Kerr, colleague of Evans. And this is the day that I'm so happy for my friend Evans and also for myself. Evans, I'd uh, like to congratulate you. And as we start this journey, we will hope your God at the end. I want to thank God. It has been a long journey. And I think uh, from the time we started the preparations, we have been seeing if it will not work or the day will be, how would, how would be the day. But we thank God because now the day has come. And we went out to send to our sister to her home. And they say, let, let them live happily. I just want to say thank you to the God. Because all it was God's plan. I'm glad today. I'm very grateful for having accepted that this is your day. I want to thank God that it has been a successful journey towards your marriage and I pray that your marriage shall be blessed. You are going to serve the Lord. You are going to serve your husband Evans with the fullest of your heart. Thank you. May God bless you, bless you, bless you so much and the rest of your generation. Amen. Amen.
siku yetu siku yetu muhimu harusi yetu uwepo wenu yote he he wetu ni kitu wetu ni nyinyi ndugu leo na kesho harusi maua ngari ngari wanapendeza leo ni furaha shangwe na furaha harusi maua kaba samsuti na shela Wacha tufurahi sote tufurahi Siti 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 haikuwa rahisi hey, tufike leo hii na hapa tulipo ndio siku yetu ipo ukimu ya harusi Siti siti baby haikuwa rahisi tufike my love leo hii Siku yetu ipo mukimu siti ya harusi sasa nyumba moja mwili mmoja kila kitu ni moja tuwe pamoja upendo na ongeza nawe ongeza heshima na pandisha tuwe pamoja siti 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 haikuwa rahisi My baby leo hii Sasa wewe ni mimi Mimi ni wewe wendo wandani wangu Rafiki yangu Sasa wewe ni mimi Mimi ni wewe wendo wandani wangu Rafiki yangu Na wazazi wameona wakaturuhusu kwa furaha wakasema hey Tumewabariki na mwenyezi Maulana atatubariki tukazae na tule he he watoto wazuri siti 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 haikuwa rahisi tufike baby leo hii na hapa tulipo ndio siku yetu ipo ukimu ya harusi siti siti baby haikuwa rahisi Siku yetu ipo mukimu siti ya harusi sasa nyumba moja mwili mmoja kila kitu ni moja tuwe pamoja upendo na ongeza nawe ongeza heshima na pandisha tuwe pamoja siti 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 haikuwa rahisi
me when no one could I'm gonna say you are the love You are the love that never leaves uh, I am here to testify, Lord Come on Of how you took away my shame Now listen You make something out of nothing Hey
they leave you for shit out. Make you the pop up any day. Oh, 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 oh,
maombi kwa ajili ya harusi ya siku ya leo. Naomba Mungu Baba katika jina la Yesu tunalitukuza jina lako tukilimidi tukisema hakika wewe ni Bwana. Mungu wa ajabu unayejua siri ya maisha ya kila mmoja imekupendeza siku hii ya leo. Baba Tukusanyike mahali hapa kwa kibali chako ili tukawe mashahidi ya watoto wetu wanapounganika katika ndoa Mungu wa chabu tunaomba uwepo wake wako ukaweze kuwa pamoja nasi tunapoanza ibada ya harusi hii baba tuwe pamoja nawe hadi tamati tunaomba Jehova wingu hili ukaweze kulifunika na wingu lako takatifu mazingara haya jehova ukaweze kuyatawala kwa uwezo na nguvu za roho mtakatifu lolote lililo kinyume tunalikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba tunalihitaji uwepo wako na ukuu wako mahali hapa katika kile kipindi jehova dhihirika bwana kwa sababu wewe ni muweza unayetuwezesha yote achilia baraka zako mahali hapa Achilia baraka zako kwa watoto wetu ambapo nafunganisha ndoa siku hii ya leo. Asante kwa safari ya kutoka kule kufika mahali hapa. Baba tunaomba kibali chako kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Mazingara ya King Jesus hapa mahali baba tunainua madhabahu yako kwa sababu yale unayoenda kutenda ni mambo makubwa, mambo yaliyo ya neema yako. Baba tunasema ni asante. Na kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba tukiamini. Amen. Pigia harusi hii. Now I have a duty to recognize the people who are in this wedding today. Nina kazi ya kutambua watu waliopo katika harusi siku ya leo. So I'll start with the groom side. Nitaanza na upande wa bwana harusi. Uh, I want to recognize the presence of the guest of honor in this wedding. Nataka kutambua uwepo wa mgeni mheshimiwa katika harusi hii. Who is the groom? Ambaye ni bwana harusi. So I'll ask the best man and the groom to stand up so that we may see them and we give them a mighty hand clap. Nitamuuliza basi bwana harusi na msaidizi wake wasimame na kuletea kofi. Groom lift up his hand. Wacha bwana harusi aiwe mkono wake. Give him a hand. Mpigie makofi as he sits down. Anapokaa chini. 
Now I move to the other side. I want to recognize the presence of the bride. So the bride be helped to stand. I want us to put our hands together for the bride. Joyfully unto the Lord. Amen. Amina. Praise the name of Jesus. The bridegroom has parents. I recognize the presence of the parents of the bridegroom. So wherever they are, I'll ask you to stand up so that we may know you. Let's put our hands together for them. Joyfully, joyfully. On the other side of the bride, the parents of the bride, please stand up so that we may see you. We recognize your presence. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Amen. Amina. The bride and the bridegroom have also spiritual parents. So I want to recognize the spiritual parents of the bridegroom. Who are present today. We can give them a hand. Amen. Amina. The bride also has spiritual parents. Recognize their presence today. We ask you to stand up so that we may know you. And put your hands together for the spiritual parents of the bride. Praise the name of Jesus. The bridegroom has colleagues. So we recognize your presence. Those who work with the, the bridegroom, please, you can stand up. We recognize your presence. Friends and colleagues of the bridegroom, give them a hand. Amen. Amina. The side of the bride. Colleagues and friends of the bride, you can stand up. We recognize your presence. Put your hands together for them. So I cannot mention each and everyone. So we recognize the presence of everyone. The parents and the family of the bride. Groom, wazazi na jamii ya bwana harusi and the side of the bride the, the, the friends the, and family we recognize your presence upande wa biharusi twatambua uwepo we welcome you in this wedding tukaribisha katika harusi hii feel at jesus yihisi uko katika miguu ya yesu now i take this opportunity to welcome the praise and worship team kukaribisha kikundi cha sifa ibada who will lead us in one song which will usher in the officiation praise and worship team Munganishi. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah.
kama umeketi tafadhali na kuomba usimame unless wewe uwezo kusimama ni mgonjwa uh, na hata katika hii harusi najua kwamba kuna uwepo wa Mungu unaoleta uponyaji so ningelipenda tumheshimu Mungu na niongee maneno machache na kisha nitawauliza tukaweza kumpokea ofisa ambaye anaenda kuunganisha harusi hii jambo la kwanza ningelipenda kushukuru uh, Dugia tu Evans pamoja na Catherine Kwa kufanya siku hii uwe chizi livyo Huku wakiwa mwana mtumaini ya mungu Na leo hii Evans Nikalipenda ujue kwamba Kando na kuwa na official permit Kando na kuwa na official permit ya serikali Kumuwa Catherine Pia nimepewa barua rasmi na mchungaji wa Catherine kwa hand over Catherine kwako. So Catherine kama vile mlivyokuja kwa ofisi yangu siku ya kwanza na nikawapa ahadi yangu kwamba tutatembea pamoja nanyi. Leo hii niko hapa. Nimesafiri usiku wote kuja ili nikuwe pamoja nanyi. Na kwa hivyo watu wote ambao tuko hapa ningelipenda tujue kwamba vijana hao wametembea kwa njia ya kumpendeza Mungu tumekaa pamoja nao tumewashauri tumeomba pamoja nao na leo hii ni furaha yangu kuambia kwamba wakati mliokuwa mnangojea tuliokuwa tumewaambia kwamba mungoje ndio huu umefika sitaki kuchukua muda mrefu maana tayari uh, tunataka tuchukue karibu masaa mawili kuhubiri kwa sababu ninyi ndio mmechelewa sisi hatuchachelewa so ikifika saa kumi na mbili mnaenda mpumzike kila mtu kwao Alafu kesha asubuhi mkuje tuunganishe. Maana from 6 there is no uniting of I mean of shutting any marriage. Mmenielewa vizuri? Ana film namna gani pale? Ah moyo umeanza kuenda vibaya. Hebu niangalie huko kama kuna huko kwa sawa. Ukoje namna gani? Aya. Sasa kwa sababu hiyo mimi nataka niwahakikishie tunachukua muda mfupi sana kuhakisha kwamba Catherine na Evans wameunganishwa leo hii. Wazazi wa Catherine, ningependa kuwashukuru kutoka ndani ya moyo wangu. Kwa kuwa waaminifu na kufanya bidii kumtunza huyu msichana na mkahakisha kwamba mnaambatana pamoja naye kuja hapa. Ninapoongea hivyo natarajia hema hili nisikie sauti na kelele nzuri kutoka pande hii maana kuna kitu kizuri kinatokea huko kinakuja pande hii. Eh? Na mkiaribu harusi saa hizi jamani nitawaambia muondoke eh Niko na mamlaka ya kuambia kama mnataka kuharibu harusi pande hii niwaambie hebu njia ndio hiyo mtoke lakini kwa sababu tuko kwa harusi na hakuna mwenye anataka kuharibu harusi nisikie kelele nzuri kutoka huko kama mko tayari Ah mnajaribu Hiyo mmejaribu sana asante Kwa hivyo tunapo simama hivyo nataka nikaweze kutambua uwepo wa mtendakazi mwenzangu kasisi ovasia Bernard Busolo ambaye ni mchungaji wa kanisa letu kule Kamkuywa ndiye ambaye Mungu amemteua leo hii kuja kuweka mbele za Mungu kwanza kunena neno la Mungu na akaweze kuwafunganisha katika harusi takatifu kila mmoja wetu nataka tuweke mikono zetu pamoja tutapomkaribisha kazizi ili akaweze kutukulia hapo Amen. Asante sana. Ah, Reverend Solomon. Mungu akubariki kabisa pamoja na mama. Najua ninyi ni marafiki wetu pale kamkuiwa. Wakati kanisa lilianza, mlikuwa very close kutusaidia. Bwana awabariki zaidi. Amen. Na tukipenda tukae. Um, Shari tutanisaidia kusoma mistari kidogo tu. I want us to move fast that because I'm supposed to be somewhere. Nataka tu daraka kwa sababu nafaa kwa mahala kwingine. I said I'll be talking to Kiswahili kibukusu and English. Nilikuwa nilisema kwamba nataka Kiswahili kibukusu na Kiingereza. So that I can be a blessing to you. Hii ni baraka kwako. Amen. Amen. I want to share a little bit about a covenant. Nataka kushiriki kidogo kwa muda mfupi kuhusu agano. Amen. Amen. And I want us to read from the book of Malachi chapter 2. 
Nataka tusome kutoka kitabu cha Malaki 2. Ya the Bible you can turn to Malachi chapter 2 please. Ukiona Biblia inaenda kwa Malaki 2. You can read to scriptures 13 verse 13 and verse 14. Malaki 13 kwanza 13 hadi 14. Amen. Amen. Bible says another thing you do. Amen. Have you turned to that place? Another thing you do now. This is God addressing the children of Israel. Huyu ni Mungu anawaeleza wana wa Israeli. He's fed up with the types of evil things they are doing. Amechoka na aina ya uovu na ufanya. So he's he's no he's you know accusing them of several things and then verse 13 is saying this is another one. Another thing you do, you flood the Lord's altar with the tears. You weep and wail because He no longer pays attention to your offerings and or accepts them with the pleasure from your hands. Ubeto kumi tatu. Maneno yenu yamekuwa magumu juu yangu. Asema bwana. Lakini nini masema? Mesema maneno juu yako kwa namna gani? Mesema kumtumikia Mungu hakuna faida. No. Chapter 2 verse 13. Samahani. You are on chapter 3. Samahani. Umeto 13. Tena mnatenda hayo nayo. Mhm. Mnaifunikiza madhabahu ya Bwana kwa machozi mm -hmm. na kulia kwa, ku, kwa kugua mm -hmm. hata asiangalia tena hiyo dhabihu. Mm -hmm. wala kuita eh, kuitakabali mikononi mwenu mm -hmm. na kuiridhi mm -hmm. lakini ninyi mwasema ni kwa sababu gani na ni kwa sababu bwana amekuwa shahidi kati ya wewe mm -hmm. na mke wa ujana wako mm -hmm. aliye ali, eh, mtenda mambo ya ya hiana mm -hmm. angawa yeye ni mwenzako mm -hmm. na mke wa gano lako amen Amina. That verse 14 says, you ask why? Why is it that God's not listening to us? You ask him. Now, we better pray now, Lisa. Mbona mungu haja tusikiza. He's not paying attention to your offerings. Haskizi na wana wala. He's not answering your prayers. Hajibu mambi yako. It's like heaven is a covenant with him. Tunagano nae. When he pray, he answers us. Tunapomba jibu. Why is it that he has shut heaven? He's not listening to us. Na mbona kumbona ni kwa mba hamefungabiu kwa mba haiskizi. And God says, Na mungu asema, I am a witness between your wife. Maybe you. Mimi ni mshuhuda katikati ya mwana mkoo. Between your husband and you. Katikati ya mumeo na wewe. The wife of your youth. Mke wa ujana wako. The husband of your youth. Mume ujana wako. You have broken faith. Mume mume vuja imani. Amen. Amina. You have broken faith with your wife. The wife of your covenant. Mume vuja imani na mke wa ayako. And that's why God is not happy. Hiyo ni umana mungu haja for a year. Because he's the initiator of the marriage. Kwa sabi ya di manzilishu ando. Amen. Amina. When he created the world. Hali kuhumba dunia. He initiated, he began with the marriage. Hali anza na ando. When he's going to finish the world. Wakati hali kuwa na kamisha dunia. He will finish with the marriage. Ata kamilisha na ando. That's what's being married to Jesus Christ. Chikanisa li kiwalea kwa Jesus Christ. The marriage is important in the eyes of God. Hali kuhumba ando ni muhimu kwa macho mungu. Because without the marriage. Basa habu bila ando. We cannot contain the world. Hawezi ukashikiria dunia. Amen. Amina. Angalia kijana mbae ni kapera. Kijana ya kaa tu pila. Amefika miaka 40, 45, 50. Na ye hana muke. Kwa angalia tu skati maisha yake. Angalia di friege nye huwa. Anatikia chakula. Angalia chiko yake. Skati tu we reflect kati mahali unatoka kule nyibani. Yule kijana mwenye anakaa tu pila pipi. Amen. Angalia maisha yake vila nakaa. Haina mpamu. Amen. Haina mwere kiu. Wale watoto bawa wanasariwa bichichi kule pila mafasa. Angalia dine wanaishi. Majokore wengi wame tushinda. So katika mbimichisei. Kwa sababu ya nini? Hawa kukua chini ya wasasa. Hawa kukua chini, hawa kusariwa chini ya ndoa. So marriage is very important in the eyes of the Lord. Webondoa ni muhimu sana kumachake mungu. To contain this world except through marriage. Mungu hana jenyingine ya kuerekeza dunia higina kupitia kwa ndoa. Praise the living God. Jena ba ni sifiri. Can I read another scripture? Maybe two verses from the New Testament now. Wacha ni some maandiko mengine kutoa kwa ganoji. Matthew chapter 19 verse 5 and verse 6. Ayo kumina tisa ubeti wa kano na wasita. Neona mungu nasema hivi. Ehe. Akasema 
Kwa sababu hiyo mtu atamwacha babaye na mamaye atambatana na mkewe na hao wawili watakuwa mwili mmoja. Mm. Hata wamekuwa si wawili tena yes. bali mwili mmoja. Mm. Basi aliyounganisha Mungu mwanadamu asitowatenganisha. Amen. Amina. So Jesus is called family. Kwa hivyo Yesu adhihirisha his understanding. Anaweka chapa on what they did in heaven. Kwa kile kilifanyika mbinguni. It was the plan from above. Ilipa, ilipangwa kutoka juu. And Adam need somebody to live with. Kwamba Adamu anahitaji mtu kuishi naye. So Jesus says. Kwa hivyo Yesu asema a man is a leaf his parents. Kwamba mwanamume ataacha wazazi wake and the mother. Ataacha babake na mamake. And will be united. Na aunganishwe. Will he cleave to the wife? Na ata ata atabadilisha mkewe. Two will become one. Na hao wawili atakuwa mmoja. That's why we have this mathematics. Ndio maana tu hesabu hii. That one plus one is equal to one. Kwamba moja ongeza moja ni moja. That one is only within the marriage. Hiyo ipo tu katika katika mazigara ndo. Amen. Amina. One plus one is equal to, to one. Moja ongeza moja ni moja. And Jesus says, na Yesu asema, they are no longer two. Hawatakuwa wawili tena. Haleluya. Haleluya. Say they are no longer Sema hawatawahi tena. Sema bwana. They are no longer two. Sio wili tena. They are one. Ni moja. Therefore what God has joined together let no man separate. Kwa hivyo kile kile ambacho Mungu ameunganisha waacha mwanadamu asitenganishe. Haleluya. Haleluya. This is a covenant. Hii ni agano. A covenant is an agreement. Agano ni kubaliano. It's a contract. Ni 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 uh-huh. contract. We are entering in a serious relationship. Uziano wa unyeti kabisa. Amen. Amina. You know God is a covenant of God. Mungu ni Mungu wa agano. You cannot begin working with God until you cut a covenant with him. Hawezi ukaanza kufanya kazi na Mungu hadi ungeke katika agano. When he began to relate with Abraham, alipoanza kuhusiana na Abraham, he showed him how to make covenants with him. Alimuonyesha jinsi ya kufanya agano naye. When he began to relate with Noah, alipoanza na Noah, Genesis chapter 9 verse 9. Katika mwanzo 9:9 
need to sit closer to your wife. Nataka uka, unataka uka, unataka ukae karibu na mkina. I will honor you. Nitakuheshimu. I will care for you. Nitaku nitakushughulikia. I will forsake others. Nitaachana na wengine and a cliff only to you. Na jina lini kugwamilia wao wako. As we pop shall live on the face of the earth. Mradi jina kwa hasa asubuhi. My brother Ebert. Those are serious covenant you are making. You are exchanging with your wife. Ndugu yangu hiyo hiyo ni agano ambayo ni not just for the father of God. Watu wanacheza na Yesu kama nani bwana? Ana wakati mwingine mnaongea tu na wanaondoka. Two weeks down the line mtu ametoa rings anaweka kwa box. Pastor si kufikiria mzuri huyu. Eh? Sorry. Si kufikiria mzuri pastor. I didn't you know I, I, I didn't have time to to actually uh, think about these things. I didn't have time. Si kwa na muda wa kufikiria mambo haya. I didn't know that the kind of lady. I did, I thought you know I didn't want be kuna mama katika dunia hii akienda kuoleka alete alete aonyeshe tabia zake original ba hakuna hata wewe kijana hakuna kijana mwenye ataonyesha tabia zake original bana wanajifanyaga wote safi amen hata ukura wanakula kidogo <laughs> eh lakini anajificha kwa kona ndio umeume nyingi ngo mzuri anaomba hakuna on this app mwenye ana ana anachimbia aweze kuweza kuonyesha sura ya kimili so sura yenyewe inakuja even si ndiye itakuja lakini sasa tumekuunganisha milele hakuna kurudi nyuma amen praise the lord mwana sifiwe nao tutafikia the reality katika umaskini tabia na wewe inherit i will be together with you katika afya ndakuwa pamoja nawe amen amen those are conditions now they are serious now you saying i will love you i will keep with you to the end unasema ndakupenda ndaishi nawe mpaka mwisho hallelujah hallelujah praise the living god jela bwana lisikiwe hallelujah hallelujah the bible says biblia sema that no longer two sio wawili tena they are now one how will the moja amen i mean the things that the sister covering you have kama vitu ambavyo mtadakia tuko nazo belongs to evans ni vya evans and the things that evans has vile ambavyo evans tunavyo belongs to you ni vyako they are yours ni vyako you want to say hawezi kusema i like women napenda watu napenda wamama unaweza kununua shamba mzee umengangana umenunua shamba na anapata watu wanakuja wanamtembelea eh este kumbe amenunua hapa anasema mimi nimenunua hapa siku hizi hata nimechenga nyumba ndio hii lakini hajawahi hata kujenga hata kitu kimoja i like that's very really good that's what the covenant means hiyo hiyo ndio hiyo ndio maana ya agano amen amen yana ana possess hii yeye yeye yenye anafanya ana possess so we say this is my car nasema hii ni gari yangu this is our car hii ni gari letu so the car of my husband sio gari la mwanangu sio the house of my husband sio nyumba kusikia hiyo eh wewe unataka tu acha sako sifanye nini sitimizwe lakini yeye ana complain you are not taking her to the hospital eh? yeye anangunika umpeleke hospitalini eh i am one of them i am one i am also a man mimi ni mmoja wangu na mme we spend long time outside najua tuchukua muda mrefu muda mrefu kule nje na kuja jioni jioni alafu tunalala tunaangalia tv kidogo kaseti kidogo alafu tunalala Nah these people have tried I mean I have told you the whole day. Na watu wame 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 shughulika siku hizi. Hatu concerned with them. Hatushughuliki nao. Amen. Anataka unajua wanawake wanawake wanasema psychologists wanasema they speak uh 
between uh, 25,000 watts to 30,000 watts. That's the what psychology is saying. And a man between 15 to 20. She's talking to you. She wants you to listen. But say, okay, sawa. Natua. But she wants you to explain, to express. It is scaring my brother. Amen. Amina. Please give her an ear. So I, I, I want to care. Tafadhali mpesikio. Now we speak. Can we talk now? Ongea sasa. Or we go out to another to an, a, to outside out a hotel somewhere. Amen. Amen. Please carry. Amen. 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 Sisi tulisaliwa maskini kwetu maskini wa maskini lakini mama alichikasa kutuweka shule sisi tulikuwa tunalala katika kunia kunia hii unafanisha kunia na kuna kulikuwa na kunia ya makonge kunia ya makonge afadhali usingizi kushike haraka kwa sababu itaku kwa rusa hautalala vizuri na huku tu mama alikuwa anatutupia skati yake Akisa lala skati Anatutubia kwa kitu Atukuwa na mwasupito Mungu wa sukuriwe Those years Amen Tulisi maisha makumu Lakini mama alitipeleka shule Akatisaidia tukasoma Tukalewa kitu kimoja Tukalewa kitu kingini Wana yesa sikuwa sana Maisha mbae tulisa Ikuwa mazuri Ikuwa maisha ya kungangana Na wakati ambapo Niliuwa mke wangu Nika kondua pia ye kwa walikuwa na ngangana Kapisa Tasa tukua tuna Eee tunafanana Mwaja tukasema Hatuweze tukakaa Tukiangalia tundeke sinapita tu uju Sinapita tu hivi Hatuweze tukweda kwa zizo ndeke apana Watu wa Kenya Airways umeteremusha Ticket yao Kuanzia around 4, 5,000 To 3,000 kutoka kisumu Paka Nairobi Ah, nikasema apana Hii last man nipandengo deki Pana for the first time Na nikalipia mke wangu nikachilipia Tukaenda kisuma asibui Tukapanda deki Tukaepuruka paka na irobi Praise the Lord Kupuruka nikisumahiri ama nikibukusu I said I will blend Tukapuruka tukafika Na irobi Na tukaenda kwa duku fulani Tuka fellowship hapo kidogo Na tukakujia kwa pass Because we didn't kujia kwa netu have an experience How does that thing, that ring behave? Tulitaka tu kukua shuhuda, yani unahisi aji no parandege. Amen. We support one another, we help one another. Tunasaidia na moja kumengine. We are over 34 years in marriage. Tumewana karibu zaidi ya mwishmi ya kama kare 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 kare. Lakini batu wa chungana. Praise the living God. Jena wali sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So all things are, they belong to us or us all. Kwa hibo vitu vyote ni vyote sisi wote. Some people say, you will see them talking to here Reverend Solomon. Utasikia wa kiongea hivi. They will be talking to you Evans. Na ongea na Evans. They will say, have you seen that lady Catherine? Yes, I saw her. Umeona yo bindi Catherine? And I will still see her. Na bado na mwona. They say, she does not have a scar. Na kuambia, hana alama yoyote. Don't put a scar on her. Usimweke alama. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's what they say. That was the what does it talk? The talk in the marriage is like this one. What does it say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Now the 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 the, the researchers, those people that research things, they have said. Wale wadadisi ambao na fanya wadadisi wa vitu wanasema hivi. Women when they go to their marriages, wana wake wana poenda kwenye ndoza au they they went there when they were fat. Wow, wali ndo kule wakio amenona. But they they know they are living there when they are fit. Is, is that true women? Is it true? That they are suffering there. They went with full of hope. But they are living in a hopeless situation. Is that true? They went there women to suffer. Ah, men. Are we molesting our wives? Our families. The ones that we see, we love them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, Leo, we need to repent. Ask the Lord to forgive us. 
We give them a certificate in this place. Tunawapa cheti katika sehemu hii. We lead them into confession. Tunawaelekeza katika kiri. You know when I stand here I represent God. Unajua katasimama hapa na wasikilisha Mungu. And I take you into more serious. Na mimi nakuuliza na kuelekeza katika katika eh vows. Vows. Yeah, but just say vows. I'm telling you that. Amen. Amina. The serious ones. Ambazo ni za kumaanisha kabisa. Praise the living God. Je, bwana sifiwe. Mm. No people even cry here. Mtoto wangu alikuwa ananisaidia. Some women cry, some men cry because mtoto anaenda. Baadhi ya mama na 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 wababa wao hulia kwa sababu toa waenda. Amen. Amina. Praise the living God. Je, bwana sifiwe. The Bible says, they are sema that we have cut a good relationship that we that God uh, intended for us to have. We have destroyed it kwamba tumeharibu uhusiano mzuri ambao Our relationship kwamba tuwe nao katika mabomu not happy na Mungu hajafurahi that's why we suffer hiyo ndio maana tutateseka that's why god cannot answer our prayers hiyo ndio maana Mungu hajibu mabomu that's why some men die early ndio maana wanaume wengi wafa mapema amen amina tusaje say men die when we to kiss mama msha hapa watu sasa baba yako wako na mama watu wengi wa mama watakuwa na baba hakuna wadadisi wasema kwamba eh hey, kwa sababu ya vile wame fanye wa kwa wakesawa na Mungu amekasirika nao so wanaenda hawarudi praise the lord praise the living god jela bali sifiwe dilane in this at the sharing that we are sharing wapendwa katika kushiriki huko tunashiriki i want you to understand nataka uelewe that god wants us kwa Mungu anataka to live in love tuishi katika upendo to honor one another tuheshimiane to care for one another tuchungane amen amen as long as we live mradi tuko hai Praise the Lord. Jana bali sifiwe. Care for that person. Mchunga mtu yule. Give yourself holy to that person. Mchipeane kamilifu kwa mtu yule. Amen. Amina. Hakuna mtu mwingine yenye huwa unapakishia ati wacha kidogo tu huyu nisimpatie 100%. Waje nimpatie. Naoka na mke wangu na mume wangu na mke wangu 45%, 50%. Na hii ingine I am hoping to get another man or another woman itaempatia sasa na hola. Hapana, upatie if if it is love patia 100%. Kama ni upendo mpe asili 100%. Kama ni heshima mpe asili 100%. Amen. Sisi wapokuzi tuko na shida. Shida ambayo tuko nayo ni hii. Eh. Msichana akicha nyumbani ameoleka kama vile Catherine anakuja kwa Evans nyumbani. Wakina Evans. Sisi wapokuzi si kama ni mkuzi. Wakina wapokuzi sasa wanasema huyu ni mke wa uko. Ah. Sisi tunakataa hiyo. Ni mke wa uko in your own perspective. Pata huyu ni mke wa Evans. Now, this is how they abuse it. Wanasema mke wa uko. Alafu sasa wanasanya mambo sote za familia wanamwakia hapa. Mapesheni mapesheni nguo tu na marezo. Eh, washa. Alafu wanamwambia apikie chami ukali. Na msikana unajua vile kama kwa kondi na mnaibi sasa apige kifuria kubwa na mnaye aende kifuria kingine apige apige cha mimi apige kingine na mnaye atleta eh hii mapondi biasi apikie watu that's how they are busy hivyo hivyo wanafanya alafu sasa wanaingia katika hii chami kabisa wakiona kwamba hafanyi wanamuona ile bana wame eh ni sudi wao msiana gani huyu na huyu wao msiana si mzuri amen that's how they are busy wanaingia katika hiyo ndoa hivyo ndivyo wao huingia na kuharibu katika ndoa please Mwache Hata hata Mwache kwa rumu uridi Hata 
leo wa siku ya leo na Andi ameleta watoto wengi eh shangaa nani mwingine ameleta watoto watano muishi na yeye ana hana nafasi ya ya kufanya na okay Burundi kule kuna watu kabila mbili kuna Watusi na Wahutu Watusi wanaonekana kama uh, kama watu Somali hivi kama Ethiopians Watusi na Wahutu wanaonekana kama sisi wa Kenya So uh, Afrika bila tuko na mna channel So Muhutu aliwa Mutusi habari Muhutu aliua Mutusi. Watusi wako kiwango kidogo chuo kidogo na mna hivi. So wale wa nyumbani wakaambia msichana wewe ni Mutusi. Na kwa hivyo usiwahi kusaa watoto na Muhutu. Kama ana sister we don't relate. Usiwahi kusaa. Usiwahi. Ukitaka taka kukuwa tayari kusaa njo huku upewe mimba na Watusi wenzako. Alafu wende usai. So msichana aliamini ile kano ya watu wa kwao. So wakati ata kushika mimba anarudi kwao. Pata mtoto wa kwanza, wa pili, wa tatu, wa ile, wa tano akabadilisha. So siku moja alisikia injili kanisani ya kusema amefunjika katika roho yake. Angependa kusaidia. Eh? Angependa ndoa yake afungue ukweli kwa mzee wake. So pasta alikuwa amemwambia ni vizuri usiwache kitu chochote ambacho unastahili kukonfess kukiri kwa sababu mbinguni itakufanya hautaenda sakaenda kapia pa mume wangu ina kitu ya kukwambia mume akaniambia akasema niambie akasema bana sio sio leo nataka tukae kwa mesa na nikwambie so aka wakajiandaa Jioni mume akakaa akasema sasa niambie akasema sio leo kesho so kesho yake kaandaa chakula mama akamalisha akakaa na 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 mzee akasema niambie akasema nasikia usito nisikwambie saa hii waje kesho kesho yake amen alafu kesho yake ilipofika waka katika mesa na akaweza kueleza akasema mimi hao watoto wako wote ambao umewapeleka shule umewatibu umewafarisha umefanya kila kitu sio wako na hii ndio kano tulikuwa nayo na watu wetu ya kwamba nikitaka mtoto niende kwetu na kwa hivyo please nisamehe na nimekwambia ukweli wa mambo nisamehe kwa sababu nimepata ukweli mse alipikwa na stroke akapikwa na mashangao akakaa kwa mesa mama akaenda kwa kitanda kwa bedroom akalala kidogo akamwambia cheme ni kuja twende tulale mse amenyamasa ameangalia tu mahali pamoja ameona tabu sanya mpitia elimisha hawa watoto amewasaidia and all that mama akarudi tena kumbuka fadhali nisamehe sio mimi nisamehe sasa nimekusamehe mama akaenda kalala kesho yake ile mama aliamka alipata huyu mzee amejinyonga ile kamba amejinyonga amen naongea kuhusu kuchali naongea kuhusu kujifunua kujipeana kwa mwenzako unaanza kujipeana kwa kiwango kani kwa mwenzako amen kwa kumwambia ukweli kwa kumpenda na kusema nitaishi na wewe milele na milele angalia hii tabii bila ilivyo kaa Okay. Mama anaweza kwenda mbinguni kwa sababu alitupo kila kitu. Yesu ndiye mwenye huruma. Lakini huyu mzee huenda kosa kwenda mbinguni kwa sababu alinyonga. Kuna vitu vinafanyika katika maisha yetu katika ndoa sahihi ni hofu. Tumefikia uh, nafasi ama wakati ambapo ndoa zimeharibika. Vitu vimechafuka. Mambo si mazuri. Amen. Tamaini ukiwa hapa uko na mke wako, uko na mume wako, mlinde Simama na yeye. Msaidie. Msaidie huyo mume wako yenye Mungu atakupatia, msaidie. Peleke mbele. Amen. Vile katika a 
mahali saa 61 ya kwamba mume anaonekana akiwa kwa keti huko kwa sababu mke amefanya mambo mazuri praise the living god can we pray acha tuombe our loving father in the name of jesus baba yetu upendo kwa jina la yesu kristo and as we begin to pray tunapata kwanza kuomba i want to ask you to speak our to god nataka kuuliza unene jambo kwa mungu say god mwambie tu mungu come into my marriage njoo katika ndoa yangu and help me na unisaidie talk to god open your mouth and talk to him fungua tu kinywa chako na mwambie mungu except jesus comes into our marriages Mungu Yesu asipoingia katika ndoa zetu. The enemy that devil will destroy our marriages. Shetani ambaye ni adui ataharibu ndoa zetu. We need him. Tumuhitaji. At such a time. Nyakati kama hizi. We need him. Tumuhitaji. At such a difficult time. Nyakati ngumu kama hizi. Father, Baba, in the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. We are standing here sharing your word in simplicity. Tusimama hapa tuki tukishiriki na ulako kinaganaga. Thank you for the people that you have touched. Asante kwa tunaoguza. Those who are failing in love in their marriages. Wale ambao wanashindwa katika upendo katika ndoa zao. Lord you are raising them again. Mungu unawainua tena. Those who are hopeless. Wale ambao wako tumaini. You are giving them hope again. Unawapa tumaini mara tena. Father we give you glory and honor. Baba tutakupa utukufu na heshima. Because you are healing the marriages. Kwa sababu unaponya ndoa. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba hiki. Amen. Amina. God bless you. Mungu abariki. Amen. Amina. I want to move very fast. Utakwenda haraka sana? Um Ningependa kwa sasi wa Evans Evans also kwa nimeongea na mchungaji ameniambia kwamba amekuwa hapa tangu Sunday school. So wewe umekula mengi uh, katika moyo wa mchungaji. I want to move a little bit kwa kwa hiyo red carpet. Thank you so much. Stand there. Smile and wait. Dependa wasasi wa Catherine, wasimame wanlete. Catherine hapa pamoja na best cup wake. Ah, kabla hatujasonga sana. Ningependa wasasi wa wa Evans pamoja na wasasi wa Catherine. Usimame hapa katikati mkuja hapa mbele msalamiane. Kwa tunaitanga basakwa, sijui mnaita lugha gani sababu basakwa swaswa swaswa ni yaani ni kumbe mbeki mita swaswa yaani yeah salamiana kabisa amen thank you so much kwa kunipatia kijana kwa kunipatia msichana asante sana Mungu akubariki amen na watu wengine huwa wanafikiria kwamba ati harusi ikifanyika kijana ndiye anaumia sana hapana hata huyo anaumia sana hawa wanachangia vitu vingi sana kidambo mfikisha hapa kuna vitu umefanya vitu vingi sana na kwa hivyo si mali ni upendo. Amen. Kwa hivyo asante sana kwa kusalamiana. Ningependa niwasihi muende sasa murudi chini mkae, wasasi wa msichana, wasasi wa kijana muende mkae chini asante kusalamiana na Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Wapikie makofi mazuri. Amen. Kuraimba maana sema you are alpha and omega. Nataka praise iwe hapo kama wawili wawili watatu hapo waimbe hiyo wimbo nataka unajua hii sasa hey i'm telling you praise the lord you are alpha that will keep up with you nataka ever to make some few steps alafu sister make some few steps msonge karibu amen sister i want you to make some steps too amen eh we pray kwa hallelujah thank you jesus Uh-huh. You are alpha yeah. and omega We worship you alone You are worthy to be praised You are alpha You are alpha and omega We worship you alone You are worthy to Alpha, you are alpha and omega we worship you alone you are worthy to be praised to Evans pamoja na Catherine atatawachua vizuri atungependa kabla hamjatuana vizuri mengia katika kano na 
nimefurisha kuuza kama siku ya leo hii Mungu awasaidie mlipe hii ya kano maana ni ya Mungu I want to read these things before you Nataka kusoma mambo haya mbele zangu I understand that you are educated people As you shall answer in the day of judgment when all the secrets of men's heart shall be revealed I command you both that if either of you knows of any reason why you cannot be joined together lawfully in the holy state of marriage that you shall declare it now for surely that those who are joined together in any way other than God's law allow are not joined together by God nor is their marriage lawful Evans inawasakana umefikiria tena kusema ya kwamba mchungaji akipatia nafasi ya kuta harusi isiendelee nasema isiendelee na ndugu tutakupatia heko ndugu tutasimama na wewe sisi wa hubiri tutasimama na wewe tutakulinda unaweza pata mtu mwingine usifanye haraka Tuendelee tukufunganishe kwa huyu mudada ama bana. Tuendelee. Tuendelee. Seriously? Yes. Sister. Wanasema wanawake wako na six the sense. Huwa wanaona sana. Wanachungusa saidi, wana remote kabisa. Na I, I, I do agree with those people. Mwanamke anaweza kufanya vitu vingi atako. Anaelewa saidi ya sababu sisi wa, wanaume not always but wakati mwingine tunakuwa na miaka mingi kidogo kuoa wale ambao wa kisetwa miaka michache but not always kwa sababu ili mkaribu mlingani kwa sababu yeye ako na akili kushinda wewe unaweza kuwa na sababu sisi mimi ni marriage officer na wasa counseli wedding ni kula kitakula Aina shida tuwezi kuwaja vyakula. Lakini ukisema tula akona hiyo. Tunaendelea. Tuendelee, tusiendelee. Tuendelee. Haleluya. Bawe meenda sasa wala mbao kwa mbali. Ah, msonge karibu kama nataka kusikia. Evans, nataka usonge kidogo enda kwa huyu msichana mahali mlianza urafiki hatukujua lakini hatujui kama ni yeye ama wasasi wamekupikia mpira wasasi wanaweza kupikia mpira fulani yenye uelewi so god fam awadi to god fam they say the one she is not of closer now She's still covered. Eh? Upatie microphone. Aseme ni yeye ama sio yeye? Ni yeye. Kuja hapa. Kuna kitu kinatembea hapa ndani. Kuja, kuja, kuja. Unajua yeye anaweza kuwa anaweza kuokopa haruke this thing. Just finya tu uwe. Eh. Eh. Sinaitwa si chinjiriba. So si lakini na umanga. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hatu ingependa ruke ruke hapa. Nifikiria amejaza na roho mtakatifu. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. So ni yeye. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Unataka wewe tuendelee mbele. Wewe unataka tuendelee, ndio? Tuendelee. Watu wa Mungu ningependa kuwahurumia wala ambao wanafikiria wanaweza kuinua mikono huko waseme basi niko na niko na question kwa sababu hao wenyewe wamesema wanataka kuendelea mbele so kama unataka kukataa ndoa hii aa kuna mtu ainua mkono kwa maana nitamwambia nitafute tuongee baada ya kuunganisha hii unanitafuta niko mtu na unyamasa milele si ndio milele na milele thank you so much Now, Evans, I want you to greet 
your almost wife to be. Greet her. Ah. Good. Shikiria. Hallelujah. Shikiria sasa. Biblia inasema kile Mungu amekupatia usiwache mtu mwingine apokonye. Shikiria vizuri kabisa. Amen. Wamesalamia mzuri mkono mmoja na nusu. Ndio naidaga mkono mmoja na nusu. Amen. Now I'm taking you into serious vows. Evans, do you take Catherine to be your wedded wife to live together in the way God has commanded in the holy state of marriage? Will you love, honor, care for her, obey her and cherish her in joy, in pain, in sickness, in health, in riches, in honor, I mean in poverty, forsaking all others, cleave to her only as both uh, shall live? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Hallelujah. Catherine, do you take Evans to be your wedded husband? To live together in the way God has commanded in the holy state of marriage. Would you love, honor, and care for him, obey him, cherish him in love, and in pain, in sickness, and in health, in riches, in poverty, and forsaking all others, cleave to him only as you both shall live? Yes, you do. Amen. Thank you so much now. We are going a little bit deeper now. Evans. Say, I, Evans. I, Evans. Now that you have said you do, you are now confirming now to her. Can you look into her eyes as you say this? Say, I, Evans. I, Evans. To take you, Catherine. Take you, Catherine. To be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife to live with you to live with you from this day forward from this day forward in joy in joy in pain in pain in sickness in sickness in health in health in riches in riches in poverty in poverty i promise you i promise you before the almighty god before the almighty god the order of marriage the order of marriage and before all these witnesses and before all these witnesses that i will honor that i will honor and care for you and care for you forsaking all others forsaking all others and grieve on you and grieve on you as long as as long as we both shall live we both shall live and so god and so god no and so i give you my promise and so i give you my promise may god help me may god help me we are turning to you Catherine now this is another serious step now you're entering confessing with your own mouth say i Catherine. i Catherine. to take you ever take you even to be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawfully wedded husband to live with you to live with you from this day forward from this day forward in joy in joy in pain in pain in sickness in sickness in health in health in riches in riches in poverty in poverty i promise you i promise you before the almighty god before the almighty the order of marriage the order of marriage and before all these witnesses and before all these that i will honor that i will honor and care for you and care for you for seeking all others for seeking all others and the grief on you and grief on you as long as we both shall live as long as we amen you are alpha and omega we want as one come out from the wind now my brother help me you can give ya duku patia wewe kada ya duku patia da ya duku patia wewe We worship you, you are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are Alpha. Ain't no mega. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Now, that's that thing. The government of Duku. Wewe ndio ulikuwa wa kwanza ama sisi sister unajua this day sister anaweza kuwa aggressive as the man duku mimi nataka tuishi na wewe 
usimkatae kuna wapendo wengine wanakataa kumbe Mungu anamtumikia amen wewe ni wa kwanza samani ningependa uinue mkono wake wa kusoto uinue juu side upite ya umbrella kama inawezekana na ningependa upewe ring alafu ndugu nataka unisikize kwanza utaenda kuongea maneno yako nitatumia luka yako ama kiingereza ama Kiswahili para hakikisha kwamba maneno ambayo unaongea anasikiza na nitamuuliza maneno yenye ameshika katikati ya maneno ambayo ameongea nitamuuliza so make sure you are speaking words ambayo ataishi na yeye milele 10 years down the line she will still remember this day and the words that you spoke can you now talk in your own words frame the way you want i evans akweyu thank you katri to be my lovely wedded wife i promise to love you cherish you care for you and take good care of you in all situations may god help me hallelujah daremusha sasa daremusha tuwe mwa chuki daremusha yo ring daremusha kabisa mataifa yone alishika hiyo alishika you will be there for her understand underline that hiyo yote yeye aliongea underline that you will be there for her wewe ulishika nini yeye aliongea she will provide a living home for me she will provide hata mimi nilisikia hiyo bana she will provide a living home eh unaona kama umechoka atakuwa amesimama namna hiyo unaweka hapa kichwa Amen. Praise the Lord. My sister Ameshika hiyo. Don't say you are busy. No. Right. Amen. Thank you so much. I want to invite the ministers of God Reverend uh, uh Solomon pamoja na watumishi wa Mungu kuna wale ambao wametoka from sisters place. Ningependa questions kuja hapa. Ningependa tuwaombe nataka msikane makono mawili na mna hivi mikono miwili sasa yes amen thank you jesus bravo shaka bakata kabalando rikaba seko tokobosi shikarianda my god my father and my savior my redeemer king of kings and the lord of lords Tutapenda watumishi wa Mungu wawili waombe. Reverend from Kamshana aombe. And then Reverend Solomon ataomba. Alafu tutamalizia. Thank you so much. Amina, baba wetu katika utatu mtakatifu. 
Na kusema sante siku hii siku ambayo umehitinisha kwamba Bwana Evans na Catherine wanaanza kuishi pamoja kama mme na mke. Asante yes, maana Mungu unaenda kuwapatia afya njema, unaenda yes. kuwapatia uzima, unaenda kuwabariki hata chumba zao. Yes. Asante Mungu maana umeidhinisha kwamba unaenda kusimama kama Mungu katika hati yao. Asante Jehova, asante mtakatifu. Yes, Sifa na utukufu sana kurejea lile umeunganisha. Hakuna mwanadamu ambaye atakucha kuweka kando. Simama nao hadi mwisho katika jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu amen sante yesu kristo father we honor your name we exalt you above every other name yes lord we commit evans and Catherine in your hands mm. and on this altar of king jesus faith ministries international mm. where they have nailed and laid their lives before you yes we declare them productive yes we declare them blessed mm. we declare them divinely enable to live a health life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. They are sickness free mm. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Long life with God Almighty yes. and finding favor with all men mm. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, on this very altar, mm. we declare that they shall find solutions in their lives. Mm. There is no problem that is bigger than you. Yes. You are greater than anything else. Yes. Father, no problem shall go yes. about them because we are on the altar of solutions. Mm. Jesus, you mm. are the, the solution giver. Mm. We declare that in every circumstance, you will reign. Mm. In every situation, you will rule over their lives. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we bless their families. Mm. We bless their biological families. Mm. The family of gathering. Mm. As I lay hands on you, mm. I declare blessings from your father yes. to your family. Yes. I declare blessings to your father, yes. your mother and siblings in the name of Jesus. Mm. And all the witnesses that have come here, yes. I speak a blessing over them. Yes, Lord. And the family of Evans, I speak a blessing mm. to the parents in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Almighty God, mm. may you watch over these families. Mm. And now, the family of Evans and Catherine, mm. we then get you to the Lord. Yes. And by the blood of Jesus, I declare you free. Yes. I declare you free. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bless Evans. Bless his mother. Yes. Bless his father. Yes. Bless his siblings. Yes. And let your name be exalted yes. over his life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Thank you for Catherine. Yes. Thank you for her life. Yes. Let your blessings overshadow her. Yes. Let those who hate her. Let those who are her enemies see your blessings and the honor. Yes. Those who have been laughing at her, mm. let them join her in laughter yes. and celebrate with her. Yes. From today we honor you, Lord. Yes. Let's say we honor you. Oh, in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you so much, Wasaidie, Wasimame. Uh, Wasaidie, Wasimame. Defender Wakuja Hapa. Defender Wasaidie, Certificate Sound. Thank you so much. I'll call you later. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
have agreed to be joined together before God and these witnesses. I now declare them to be a husband and wife. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be blessed in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the power confined and invested in me by God and the church, I today officially bring before you Mr. and Mrs. Evans. Oh, yes. Let me pray. How? Baba wetu katika china la Yesu Kristo. Wewe ni Mungu na mbele sako hapana mwingine. Bwana asante kwa sababu ya Evans na Catherine ambaye siku hii wameunganishwa kirasmi na huduma ambayo imekuwa hapa katika King Jesus. Bwana asante kwa wachungaji wao ambao wamewalea kufikia kiwango hiki. Wakaona kwamba ni vyema waanze ndoa. Kama mtumishi wako mtakatifu na simama na watumishi wako. Bila wameomba na kuinua mikono sawa juu ya chama hii. Kwamba inaanza katika kiwango kikubwa. Baba wetu kuna mapepo ambayo yanatembelea katika laini ya damu ya kikwao. Ya Catherine na Evans. Leo hii kupitia katika maombi haya tunafunga kila nguvu za kiza. Hasiwezi kawafikia katika china wa Yesu Kristo. Ee mwakosi wetu kama kuna wachawi Kuna wakanga Kuna watu ambao wanawatafutia mabaya na wifu Kuna angamisa njia sao hawafiki Katika china wa Yesu Kristo Kuna chora na hini ya dami ya Yesu kando ya chami hii Ambayo inaanza siku ya lewe hii Wana asante kwa hifadhe na kwa linda Naomba mungu wetu wabiguni Wapatie baraka Wapatie baraka sabatoto Wakiume na wakike Wapatie baraka sa magari Wapatie baraka sa mashamba Wapatie baraka sa plots Wasaidie kusafiri kwenda na inchi mbaribari Wapatie bitu ambawa hawajawai kuota kamba unasakua na adio Wewe ni mungu maminifu Wapatie maisha maraifu ya mwakosu Saidi sana wapatie wakofu Watebee katika wakofu wa simu wache mungu Asante mungu wetu kumani wei ni mungu ushie Mutukusa mapewe sifa mwakosu wetu Watendee mema mfane Kwanzia siku ya leo na chasa fraa katika miyo sawa Katika china wa baba na ramona na roho mtakatifu Amen 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 This is your wife Ukitaka kumpepa chu Ukitaka kumupanya na mnagani Ukitaka kukisi yeye Ukitaka kukibia na yeye hapo Ukitaka kumunanoria gari This is your wife Tume kumatia ndugu Mulinde
kama vile mmeshuhudia Evans pamoja na Catherine wakifanya ungamo lao na kuingia katika agano la ndoa kuna cheti ambacho wame sign hapa na kulingana sasa na vile mme sign cheti hiki Catherine Evans mme wako halali Evans Catherine mme mke wako halali kwa hivyo mimi ningependa kuwapatia maana hii hiki cheti cha kanisa peke yake ni cheti ya serikali serikali ya Kenya inajua kwamba leo hii mmeoana kwa hivyo everything you have belongs to both of you mimi nataka niwapatie kwa maana ni cheti chenu na ndio mnaanza kutoa vile mnatuza vitu vyenu pamoja mtajua vile mtafanya tuko tayari jamani haya sawa nenye kazi ni kuangalia tu ndio niwapatie nafasi kama mtaimba ama hapana tunaweka tu macho yenu watu wakianza mambo wakati mwingine wanakuwa na uoga hawaelewi wafanye nini lakini tunataka tu kama wanajua ama hapana hata ndani ya nywele inaweza kuwekwa atujui hata eh? ndani ya socks ama sijini wapi ya yeah. yani unaambiwa mwenye amekuwa akipekua ili koti kama ni mama ama dada tafadhali wakati wako umekwisha mwenyewe ameanza kufungua kila mahali akiangalia heavens hata ndani ya watreva utaona tu kwamba ataingia eh mtu rusa aingie aweke tena anataka jamani makofi kwa kato makofi jamani nasema makofi aya jamani wacha ni waruhusu wacha ni waruhusu ah nataka tunataka kwa celebrate ama mnaonaje dakika kidogo tu alafu maua ikute si ndio yes ama namna gani yes. uko tayari yes. lady is ice uko minus uko minus alafu gentlemen now you are plus si ndio yes. a plus ever yes. the only opportunity to have your bride now your wife do whatever you need to do your wife and welcome her mimi natoka kwa kwa sio
zawadi zote zije ufanye kufanya zawadi kutoka kwa kijana kutoka kwa marafiki jameni sandi in the interest of time we do not have time to waste because we are going very far uh the mates na wale young men who are our captain if they can come and transport all this to their sites these are the presents we have given from the letter side and we want to say that we are grateful but in the interest of time we want to move amen waja mama apokeze msikana wake kitu kidogo tu mama na wimbo Hawapekendio ndaruhusu wamzongee bibi aruzi na bwana aruzi wengine wote tumepeana vitu vyetu hivyo hivyo asante kumpabindie haya pabintie job zipokee jameni job muzipokee muzipokee zawadi zile you are right you are right zipokee zawadi zile kutoka wazazi upande upande wa biarusi na baada hiyo kuna kukata keki jameni mtasubiri kidogo kabla muondoke kwa sababu keki yakatwa bila keki jameni kulamulo lakini mrodo umekula keki ukenda unasema ilikula harusi kwa hivyo ni vema ni vema ni vema tusubiri kidogo tumeshukuru hata baada ya kuleta zawadi zile unasema asante asante tumepokea kuna keki ambayo yakatwa asante jamii ya bwana harusi tutasubiri kidogo kwa sababu sisi ni wenyeji tunamshukuru Mungu sana tena sana kwa kufanikisha siku hii na kufanya harusi ya Catherine pamoja na Evans kwa ya kufaulu sana. Kwa hivyo tungelipenda kuongea mambo mengi lakini kwa sababu ya wakati tutakuwa tutajaribu kuwa kwa ufupi. Majina yangu ni Elizabeth Mwibanda mke wa Reverend Solomon King Jesus Lugulu Faith Church. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe wote. Kwa majina ni Anne Mlongo kingiza sana. So tungelipenda kualika Catherine pamoja na Evans kwa m- pamoja na wasaidizi wao kuinuka ili waje waweze kutukatia keki hii. Catherine na Evans wameokoka. Hawa ni watumishi wa Mungu kwa hivyo watakuwa wanawakaribisha wageni katika mji wao. Um, leo hii imewapendeza kutukaribisha kushiriki pamoja na wao gift hii ya keki. Kwa hivyo um, nitamuuliza Catherine pamoja na Evans waweze kukata keki hiyo. Na sisi wengine tuliokuja ku witness wakikata tunafanya nini tunafanya nini okay moja mbili tatu go Tuwaruhusu tena wakate mara nyingine na sisi huko tupige makofi yetu tushangilie. Haleluya. Kata kata kata. Asante sana. Hawa watakuwa wanasaidiana wamepledge hapa kwamba watasaidiana one will be there for the other one will offer a shoulder or a cheek or whatever it was to the other to lean on so tunaona wakianza kwa ku demonstrate hivyo leo hii asante sana Kate pamoja na Evans
So mtaturusu tuwasaidie kukata kata Kwa hivyo hii keki tunaamini ni upeanaji wa Mungu kwa maisha ya Catherine pamoja na Evans. Kwa hivyo tungependa tuone uh, wakati Mungu atakuwa amepeana kwao ni nini watakuwa wanafanya. Let us pray. Father in the name of mighty Jesus Christ. We come before you this particular time. We say thank you for this day that you have made us so that we can be glad of it, Lord. Oh, Lord, before us is a cake. As we partake it, Lord, may you bless it. Oh, Lord, may it bring, bring unity, happiness, and joy into our lives, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Catherine Makofi Mazuri. Wacha kukasirikia mwenzako kwa sababu wa mekata keki. Piga makofi mazuri. Thank you so much. Uh, kwa sababu wa mekipokea chakuna kwa shukrani wa memsikuru mungu. Tunga nipenda kuona jinzi watakafi ya kuwa wanafanya katika nyumba yao. Wamesema watasaidiana. So mimi sita wapa mwenekeo. Wawo wafanya jinzi watakafi ya kuwa wanafanya. Please go ahead. Uliona kwenu Kwanini unawanya mazia iba wapigia makofi mbewe na hataki ya nyongo na chakula kwa hiwa na upa maji ya nga ya kujere mshu upe makofi mengine wacha tuone eva nisa tafanya nini atakua mpatia haki mpatia mkewe haki chakula hatoku ama wow Wakumisha mkeo Hakikisha chakula hito Hakimiongi kichare mke vizu Asante mpatie Evans makofi mazuri Kwa uhanaka Kathleen pamoja na Evans Omekua na wasimamizi wao Kwa wamewaelekeza katika mwendo huwa kuingia katika ndoa
Mesa shuhudia Mengine bado nangotea Wakati wa mungu mm. Mengine nisa shuhudia Mengine bado nangotea Wakati wa mungu oh. Ali atenda jana Anatenda leo Atatenda kesho Najua Morning. 
morning, noon time, and the night. Voices, rhythm, melody. Never 